Detroit police searching for a carjacking suspect they believe is armed and dangerous and on the run. Once they spotted the stolen car this afternoon, the driver took off and crashed. Then he bailed out of the crashed car and the cops are still trying to track him down. Police are investigating whether this whole thing started with an online date that went bad. 7 Action News reporter Anu Prakash joins us now live from southwest Detroit with the very latest on the search for this guy. Anu. Well, Stephen, this all happened here at the corner of Smart and Central. You can see here where witnesses say that suspect ran over this fence and then ran over those kids' toys there, and that's the pole he crashed into before running away. A chase and crash in the middle of the day here in southwest Detroit. It all started when Detroit Police Captain Russell Solano spotted this Toyota that was taken in a carjacking early yesterday morning. It matched the description actually of the license plate as well. But the driver just took off. This man, who didn't want to be identified, saw what happened next. He swerved out when he tried to make that S turn there and uh, mowed these people's uh, fence and stuff down and wrecked and got out and ran. Police believe the guy who crashed that Toyota and bailed was involved in stealing it early yesterday morning at Proctor in Panama. That's where investigators say a man in his 20s met up with two young women he'd met online. Once they got there, the man was pistol whipped and attacked by three to five men. His car was stolen and one of the attackers even fired a gun, but no one was hit. Police believe those young women may have lured that man to that location. After that crash today, the cops have been searching from the air and on the ground to try and find the guy who took off from police. But so far, no luck. And investigators want people who live around here to be careful. He's a very dangerous person. Uh, we're considering him armed and dangerous. It's that simple. Um, there was a gun used in the carjacking. Whether or not this particular individual had that gun that night, um, we don't know. So we can't take that chance. Yeah, got to be so careful. Again, along with the person who bailed from that stolen car today, police are also still looking for those other attackers who assaulted and pistol whipped that victim. As for the victim, we're told that he does have some facial injuries, but he is doing okay. Reporting live in southwest Detroit, Anu Prakash, 7 Action News. Thank you.